that's it. Winter Mark has gone into hibernation. The cross country skiers are packed away. But as you can see, winter is holding on just by his grass of his fingers, but lots of spring sunshine. Of course, what's going on with all you wonderful runners out there? Hope you're doing well. Hope your running's going well. And yeah, running with Mark, well, actually running with Mark, running is actually back. The practicalities of running in springtime here in Finland means that all the trails, gravel roads, they're still covered in ice because in the forest, the sun doesn't get to them. So that means that we're stuck. Stuck's probably the wrong word because I choose to do this and I enjoy doing this, but we're stuck. <laughs> I said it again, we're blessed. Maybe that's still the wrong word. We have the joy of going out and discovering some running routes that maybe you wouldn't normally take. Running on the asphalt, on the footpath, side path, whatever you want to call it. Like I've never been here before. It's not really maybe like the Grand Canyon or anything, but it's the first time I've ever seen this. That's amazing. And I've learned to appreciate that, that going out, discovering new routes, that's the adventure in itself. And it keeps you excited. It's a nice way to keep motivated in a way if you're bored of doing the same route all the time. But yeah, first time I've seen that balcony, seen that supermarket. I don't know, maybe I have seen that red car before. You might have fitness from doing some other sports like me, cross country training, but it's one of those age old things that with any runner, if you're coming back from something, some injury, some time off, whatever it is, that you've got to get back into running gradually. Don't just jump in and do 10 hours or 100 kilometers or 50 kilometers if that's completely brand new to you for running. You need to ease back into things and this is my fifth week of easing back into things. I'm going this way, just checking my route. And you know, I've got some great goals, which I'm gonna share with you what is gonna be coming on this channel. Obviously one of the main things always with anything is obviously to be healthy, to have some fun with what you're doing. And of course, if I want to have some longevity of running, the main goal of any time is to keep running. So staying injury free, preventing, not waiting for something to happen. And that's exactly what I aim to do. And that's what I'm doing now, taking it nice and easy back into running. some of these routes and paths that I've been running on just now, they're not featured in the videos yet at all. And that's because I've just moved house and that has taken up quite a lot of time and it's well worth the effort, trust me. It's gonna be pretty amazing for this YouTube channel and that's one of the reasons why I've actually moved. It sounds a little bit crazy, but uh, I really do enjoy doing YouTube. I enjoy being in the great outdoors. So it's a win-win in every sense. And also for running, that means that it is really nice for you to be able to get out there, discover some new routes and everything like that. And I'm just so excited and stoked to have this opportunity.
So how about that run actually? We did end up doing 19 kilometers, well 19.2, average pace around 4.30 per kilometer and just really enjoyable and first I guess longish run, let's get this headband off. I'm really excited to get back engaging more on running topics on this channel among other things as well and we're going to get into a little bit about what is coming up, what are my goals uh, or I think more so what are the ideas. I must admit I'm still in the ideating phase so you know not everything's set in stone, a little bit flexible but one thing's for sure is that I really want to push myself a little bit and it doesn't necessarily mean going faster, doesn't necessarily mean going longer, it just means growing as a person challenging yourself a little bit, doing some things that maybe you wouldn't do, being consistent and I guess all well, obviously enjoying those moments as well. And right now I'm going to enjoy this smoothie. Look at the color of that. Really purple. Is it showing? So with that I'm going to enjoy this blueberry smoothie, some pineapple, replenish the body with some nice vitamins, some nutrients and lots of liquids. Get hydrated once again because yeah, even though it is cold out there, I did manage to build a bit of a sweat on. And that's because like over here, the terrain is just rolling all the time. And on that run for 19 kilometers, I got around 220 meters of elevation gain. Maybe same run in the other area where I was living before, probably would have been about 60 meters. So one of my goals for this year, which I think is quite big, is turning this space here that I'm in right now, create a YouTube studio and make this kind of like a real cool place to be and film some videos and share some tips and such like that. And I'm really excited for this opportunity. Uh, I've worked hard for it. Yeah, you know, we do create our own luck as well. In regards to the running itself, well, maybe we can delve a little bit deeper into that into another video. But for me, one of my goals that I want to carry over from 2021, which didn't really happen so much because of what was going on in the world and lots of races being canceled, is I want to go to more races and fail at them. I want to, you know, go out there, just give an effort. And sometimes I think it's really important that you don't go with lots of expectations or you undercut your kind of ability. I want to go there and probably go to a 10k race and blow up after four kilometers because I went out too fast. You need to learn by doing and that's one of the things that I really want to do this year. But I do already have two specific goals which I do have in mind. Them are events. One of them I have already done so maybe I should do that in another video but uh, you've seen me I've already dropped a video where I've done it in previous years. And the other one which is rolling over from last year, as I said, all those circumstances. I want to hit a sub 17 minute 5k. I know I'm capable of it. I know I've got the talent. I know I've got the dedication to do it. And uh, yeah, I just want to prove it to myself. I've got it in the bag and yeah, I've, who knows, from there you can push on to do even bigger things and everything. But first of all, I need to get that little notch under the belt and then we can push on. But thank you very much for watching the video. I'm going to go and hit the sauna now. Yes, I've got a sauna in my house now, which is pretty cool. I've got a little bit few more things to share, obviously more details and about the house and everything and how that's going. And maybe we can kind of do like a renovation series with the YouTube studio. But thank you very much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And we'll see you in the next video.